Good morning and welcome back to Destiny Speaks. Well, today is Thursday, you guys. We are have one more day left in this work week. I hope that today finds you well, that you awoke this morning in your right mind, that you had a song in your heart and a praise on your lips, giving God the glory and the honor and the praise that he so greatly deserves. Amen. Amen. So listen, People ask me, you can't be that positive every morning. You can't really feel like that every day. You know, I always say my song in your heart, praise on your lips. But you know what? It doesn't matter what I'm going through. It doesn't matter what I'm dealing with in my life. It's always a good day and a good time to give God praise. Amen. Listen, I know you may be dealing with some things this morning and you may be going through something very serious. You may have just gotten a bad report from the doctor. You know, you might have lost a loved one. Maybe your house is in foreclosure. Maybe you're just suffering persecution on your job or you're just really having a hard time. But guess what? As Christians, we should expect these things. We should expect persecution. We should expect that sometimes things are just not going to go right in our lives. But the Bible tells us that whatever we're dealing with, whatever persecution we're going through, that the Lord will deliver us. Not not maybe, not uh, he could. It says that he will deliver us from out of all of them. Amen. In the book of Psalms 34, I believe it's the 19th verse, it says that many, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of them all all. Amen. Will deliver him out of them all. And then again, in the book of 2 Timothy, I'm sorry, 2 Timothy, the third chapter, uh, the 12th verse, Paul is speaking here and he says, yes, if you are living a godly life in Christ Jesus, you will suffer persecution. Amen. So this is not a surprise to us that we're going through some things or that we're dealing with this thing, with things. Paul says that we will su- suffer persecution. And he talked about some of the persecution that he suffered. But he says that the Lord delivered him out of all of those things. And then again, in the book of Corinthians, I believe it's 2 Corinthians, Paul is saying that many are the afflictions of the righteous, okay? He said, but they are light afflictions. Light afflictions is what he called them. But And they were just for a moment compared to the eternal weight of glory that is being produced in us. So even though Paul was put in prison, he was beaten, you know, people turned their back on him. People talked about him. He was going through so much. He said, guess what? These are light afflictions and they last only for a moment. And I can certainly relate to that. And I'm sure you can too. When you look back over your life and you think about something, some of the situations you've been in and you thought this was the worst thing that had ever happened to you and you didn't know how to, you could, were going to get through it. And guess what? You can barely remember it now. I've got some testimonies like that. And I mean, they were serious things or so I thought at the time. But now it's even hard for me to remember them or remember what I felt like when I was going through them. That's how good God is. He's going to deliver you out of everything that you find yourself in. So don't dwell on that today. Dwell on how good God is and how wonderful he is. And then you too can say that you have a song in your heart and a praise on your lips. Listen, just the fact that you woke up this morning is enough to give God praise. Amen. Amen. That's just a quick word for you you this morning. I love you guys. Have a blessed, awesome Holy Ghost filled day. Tell somebody about Jesus. Stop focusing on your problems. Focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and that are called according to his purpose. I know you love him and I know that you're called. Have a blessed day.